going to be having a look at finding the nth term of a linear sequence, meaning a sequence that goes up by a constant amount that's being added or subtracted each time. So grab a piece of paper, grab a pen, make some notes, and we're going to get started. So this first one says write an expression in terms of n for the sequence and then gives us a sequence. Now all we need to find out is what times table it's related to. So if we have a look, from 4 to 7 is add 3. Okay, we just need to check the next one as well. That's also 3, and it's also 3, and again it's also 3. So essentially this is related to the 3 times table, and the expression for the 3 times table is 3n. And that means any number that you sub in there will, will, will give us our 3 times table. If you sub 1 in, you get 3 times 1, which is 3. Sub 2 in, you get 3 times 2, which is 6, and it creates the 3 times table. Now obviously this is not the 3 times table, because if we think logically, the first number in the 3 times table is 3, and then 6, 9, and so on. But if you have a look at the numbers there, our sequence is one bigger. From 3 to 4 is plus 1, from 6 to 7 is plus 1, and from 9 to 10 is plus 1. So this is one bigger than the 3 times table. So what we actually have to write is it's the 3 times table, but plus 1. And that there is our nth term, 3n plus 1. Now you don't always have to think about what the times table is. And a little trick that I'm going to be doing throughout the video is just to go backwards one. And if we went back one, we'd have to take away 3 going backwards, obviously, because we're adding 3 going forwards. And if we take away 3 from 4, it gives us 1, and that is positive 1. So we would put plus 1 at the end of our uh, nth term there, and it tells us how far away from the times table it is. So I am going to be using that trick, although you do need to know logically as to why it is plus 1, and that's because it's 1 bigger than the 3 times table. So let's have a look at another one. Okay, so write an expression in terms of n for this sequence. So again, having a look, it goes up in sixes. Okay, so it's going up in six, so it's related to the six times table. So that's six n. And then our little trick, okay, if we go back six, we would take away six. And if you take away six from two, that gives you negative four. So it'd be six n, but with minus four away from it. Okay, I think logically the first number in the 6 times table is 6, and to get from 6 to 2 you have to take away 4, so it's 4 smaller than the 6 times table. So there's our nth term expression, the 6 times table, but with 4 taken away, 6n minus 4. So have a look at one more before we have a go. Okay, so the same process again, nothing really different here. It goes up by 4, and up by 4 again, and up by 4, so it's 4n. And then finishing it off, taking away 4 backwards, minus 4, would give us negative 1. So 4n minus 1 is our nth term expression for this sequence. Right, here's some for you to have a go at. Okay, so three sequences there, write the nth term for each one, pause the video there, and we'll go over the answers in a sec. Okay, so the first one. The first one's going up in twos, so it's 2n. Take away 2 from 6 gives you positive 4, so 2n plus 4. The next one here is going up in fives, so 5n. Take away 5 from 3 gives you negative 2, so it's 5n, take away 2. And the last one here is going up in 7s, so 7n, and if you take away 7 from 2, you get negative 5, so 7n minus 5. Okay, All right, there we go, there's those. Let's have a look at some sequences that are going down. Okay, so this sequence is going down. So we're going to do a very similar approach here, let's just have a look. So each time it's going down by 3. Okay, so this time just emphasising the fact that it's going down by putting negative there, so negative 3. And each time it goes down by 3. So rather than writing 3n, I would write negative 3n, okay? Not that we have a negative 3 times table, but it's going down in 3, so we can express that as negative 3n. This time, if we're going backwards, obviously if we're taking away 3 going forwards through the sequence, to go backwards we would have to add 3. So adding 3 would get us 10. There we go, and that's positive 10. So we'll keep that as a plus at the end, plus 10. Okay, and there is our nth term expression, negative 3n plus 10. As a side note though, this can be written in a different way. We could actually swap the numbers around here, so we could write 10 minus 3n. And they mean the same thing, but this way here, 10 minus 3n is quite a common way just to reduce the amount of symbols that we have written in our nth term. So you will see it in both ways, and that is quite a common way that you would see the nth term there written as 10 minus 3n. Let's have a look at one more. Okay, so same process again. 9 to 4 is minus 5, 4 to negative 1 is minus 5, and it keeps going down by minus 5. So we'd write minus 5n. There we go. Obviously, just finishing this off then, we would add 5 going backwards. So plus 5 would give us 14, and that is positive 14, so minus 5n plus 14. And again, writing it the other way around, that would be 14 minus 5n. Both are correct, both mean the same thing, but there we go. Try and write your answer like this as well. Okay, here's some for you to have a go at. 
Okay, so there's two questions there. Have a go, pause the video, and we'll go with the answers in a sec. Okay, so for the first one, it's going down by 4, so it'd be minus 4 in. And going backwards, we would add 4, and that would give us positive 12. So minus 4n plus 12, or writing it your other way, 12 minus 4n. And on to the next one. This one is going down by 2, so it would be negative 2n. And this time when we add 2, it will give us negative 1 at the start there, so minus 2n minus 1. So because that one has the two negative symbols there, I probably wouldn't bother writing it the other way around. You could write minus 1 minus 2n. But I would probably just stick with this version when there's both negatives are there anyway. It doesn't really reduce the amount of symbols, so we could just keep it like that. Right, there we go. That's all the questions then. So that is writing the nth term of a linear sequence when it's going up and down. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, if it was helpful, please like, please comment, please subscribe. And I'll see you for the next one. Thank you.